All right, so here we need to find a common denominator. To help us find a common denominator, we need to break this down into x minus 3, x plus 3. Okay, therefore, our common denominator for this fraction is going to be x minus 3, x plus 3. All of them are going to need x minus 3, x plus 3. Okay, this first one was missing the x plus 3, so I need to multiply this by x plus 3. 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 3 is 6. This next one was missing the x plus 3, so I need to multiply this by x plus 3. I distribute that 3. 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 3 is 9. And this last one already had the x minus 3x plus 3, so I didn't have to do anything, so that stays as 12. Then I'm going to combine these to make one fraction. So we still have the x minus 3, x plus 3. When I combine this, I get 2x plus 6. I need to make sure, since it's minus, distribute this negative. Negative 3x, negative 9. Okay, now that my bottoms, now that my um, bottoms are the same, I can set my tops equal to each other. So I'm going to combine this. A 2x and a negative 3x is a negative 1x. A 6 and a negative 9 is a negative 3. Okay, and then I need to, um, let's see, maybe, okay, then I need to move that 3 to the other side. Therefore, I get negative x equals 15. And lastly, divide by 9, negative 1. Therefore, I get negative x. 15 as my final answer.